Welcome back, my name is Ashley Osier and I am the Posture Specialist. If you are interested in improving your posture, decreasing chronic pain, and enhancing your overall wellness, make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified when I upload my next video. We are here today in beautiful Half Moon Bay and I just wanted to share this scenery with you. It is incredibly gorgeous. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys what I call the joint openers. So the joint openers I created many years ago when I was working with an arthritis specialist. Now this is for anybody really who wants to improve their overall wellness. We're gonna be working to open up the joints from the head to the toes. I wanna to first say to make sure to modify everything as you need it. If you have any kind of injury whatsoever, or if you are in acute pain, that means immediate pain right now today, you need to make sure to check with your doctor that doing a joint opening routine for the area that you are injured in is appropriate. So get a mat, get a towel, you can be on the carpet. Remember, we're gonna be opening up the feet, so the tops of the feet, the toes, the bottoms of the feet, we're gonna be stretching everything. And we're gonna be doing this in a standing position. We're gonna be barefoot, so no socks, because I don't want you guys slipping, and wear something comfortable. Let's get to it. We're gonna get into our three lock mountain by first establishing our feet, making sure the toes are pointed straight balancing our weight evenly across both feet by rocking side to side, forward and back on the heels and toes, and circling in each direction. Very important to balance our body weight evenly across both feet. And moving to the pelvic lock of the Three Lock Mountain, balancing the hips, making sure they're even, Zipping up, pulling the top of the pubic bone up to the organs, engaging the diaphragm lock, lifting up and the ribs out, lifting the sternum up, breathing, making sure that the shoulders are even straight across, pulling the shoulders back and down, and the throat lock, pulling the throat in, and that chin back, lifting up, top of the head, making sure the pinkies are at the side seam of the pants. And I'm going to show it to you from the side view as well. You we want to check to make sure that you're not in a forward hip posture, a collapsed diaphragm, forward chest, in two different examples. Make sure you make those corrections. Or if the head is pushed forward, make sure you pull that back. So each of those corrections, if you find that you're in any of those positions, make sure that you correct them. So you're in a solid three lock mountain. So we'll get into our three lock mountain from the feet all the way up to the top of the head and begin with our breath. We're gonna relax the entire body in our three lock mountain, make our adjustments where we're holding tension and we're gonna breathe deeply as we relax, relaxing the fingers, the shoulders, the jaw. And we're going to take deep breaths in. And as we breathe deeply, we'll let the head bob forward, opening up the back of the neck, stretching all the way down and inhaling up. And again, 
We're going to exhale the head down, bobbing down. Just feel that stretch. And inhale the head up. Again, let the head bob down, stretching a little bit further, exhaling, and inhaling the head up. Very relaxed. Exhaling the head down, and then inhaling the head to the left, bringing the right arm out, extending through the fingertips. Exhaling with the arm behind the back, very gently stretching. Breathing naturally, then rotating the head gently to the other side, opening up the left hand, extending through the shoulder, fingertips and then bringing the arm behind the back and stretching slow deep breaths making sure that the body is not leaning straighten up and very gently rolling the head to the other side inhaling arm comes out Stretching way out through the fingertips and bringing the hand behind the back. Big stretch. Gentle rotation of the head to the other side. Again, bringing the arm out and stretching through the side of the neck. Arm behind the back. Breathing. Rolling the head to the other side. And again, the arm comes out, stretching even more. Arm behind the back. Stretching again, the head rotates to the other side and the arm comes out. Make sure to stretch through those fingertips. Bring the arm behind the back. Stretching through and breathing. Head comes down to the bob in the center and then inhaling the head up back to center and into your three lock mountain. Now we're going to roll the shoulders, rolling them back, breathing, increasing the range of motion at the shoulder joint. We're going to make sure that the hands are not doing a lot of the movement. We're going to keep the hands at the sides and just roll the shoulders back and breathing. I'm going to roll them forward, again, keeping the movement at the shoulder joint, and breathing with the hands at the sides. Now we're going to rotate the arms so that the palms are out, stretching up, and the chin comes down. Rotating the arms, palms out, thumbs to the body, and we're stretching up. Bringing the breath in, rotate, inhale, arms up, chin down, and arms back. Rotating, arms up, chin down, big stretch. Really let your body get into it, opening up that shoulder girdle, breathing, and relaxing. Good job. And the arms are going to rotate the other direction. Palms are out. Thumbs are back. Stretching back and forward. 
I'm going to show you this from the side as well. So rotating out, back and up, stretching all the way through, rotating the hands out, back and stretching through, making sure those fingers are really open so that you're stretching through the back or stretching through the ribs. Here we go from the side. Really get the whole body into it. You'll see as I come back and up and around, I'm stretching through, you see I'm rounding the back, almost like I'm combing the air. Breathing in as the arms come up and exhaling out. Spinal flexing the spine in one direction as the arms come up and flexing the other direction as the arms come forward and down. Rotating out, expanding up, combing forward and down. Good, and back into the three lock mountain. Arms are out at the side, palms down, and we're gonna rotate at the elbow. Hands down, rotating, palms up, rotate the palms down, bringing the hands close to the body. One more time, and around. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction arms out, really extending through the fingertips, around, palms up, and then down and around, up, around, and remember to breathe. A couple of cues for this particular joint opener. We want the hands out in line with the shoulders and the hands come very close to the body as they pass around the chest. The palms drop down, keeping the elbows up and passing around. That gives maximum movement and range of motion through that shoulder joint. If you find that your shoulders are too painful or tired with the arms straight out, you can just drop your elbows and do this joint opener in this position. Always modify to meet yourself where you're at to get the maximum benefits. And now the wrists. With the palms out, we're going to open up the wrists. Again, open up the hands. Outside circle, bringing the fingers together in a fist. Out, nice and tight. And fist. Make sure to extend at the elbows. Nice big stretch for those wrists. Now the other direction, palms are in, coming out and close the fists. Out and close the fists. Palms in, out and close the fists. Good, good. Now from the side, See how the elbows are straight and we're really stretching through that wrist, pulling it down. The fingers are like in a beak shape, making sure that everything is nice and lengthened, maximizing each stretch for that wrist all the way around in both directions. And now we're going to do the hands. We're going to briskly rub those hands together, getting ready to open up the joints of the fingers. Breathing. We're going to start with the thumb, that base joint. We're going to circle in both directions, up to the middle joint of the thumb, and then going to the index finger, all through the joints, middle finger, 
circling, holding with the index finger and the thumb. And then the other hand, you see how much movement I'm getting on that rotation? Really getting the joints of the fingers to open up, increase the circulation, bring warmth to the digits. Again, making sure that you are in your three lock mountain and breathing as we get ready to move into the next segment. So we're gonna do the waist. We're circling at the waist, making sure that the shoulders stay in alignment. We're breathing, rotating the other direction. And we're solid through our feet. And we want to make sure that we are engaged in that pelvic lock. We're zipped up. We're moving from the abdominal area, that waist. We're not collapsed at the diaphragm. We're not turning the shoulders one direction and then turning the shoulders the other direction. We're staying very straight. We're just turning at the waist. We're imagining that our head is a paintbrush and we're painting an O on the sky. Nice and straight through that three lock mountain. And the other direction. Breathing and circling. Good job. Now we're gonna get ready to do the six way hip stretch. This is the first position. We're not gonna push the hip forward, it's straight out to the side. So that's one. And then we're gonna push that hip forward. Just the left hip, that's two. So we have one and then we have two. And then we're going to circle around. Once you get to that position, circle around to step three. So here we go. One, two, and three. We're going to move back into. And after step three, we push it out to step four. And then that hip goes back five. Half circle back is six. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, out, forward, half circle, out, back, half circle. Again, push, 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 good. Out, forward, Half circle, push that hip out, back and around. Again, moving to the other side. First position, pushing that hip out and feeling that deep micro stretch. Into the second position, we'll feel it in the front. Good, and half circle. Third position, fourth to the side, back, and circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, push forward, half circle, push out, back, and half circle again. Really feel each of those points stretching, breathing, feeling grounded. Your weight is still evenly distributed across your feet in each position. Good. Back, around. And we're going to continue opening up the hips by opening up the legs wide. We're going to be pushing the hips side to side. Really push out. We're not turning at the waist. We're not turning at the upper body. 
really pushing those hips out side to side feel that hip joint opening up micro stretching push push staying in that three lock mountain lifted pushing excellent individual hip rotations this is supported with a chair as we do a hip rotation we're circling at the hip we're not lifting the waist but just circling at that hip nice and strong in that pelvic lock switching directions breathing staying grounded and now the knee circling at that knee really extend through the toes at that end point make the most of each rotation switching sides and getting ready to circle the ankles big circle on the ankles now your foot is the paintbrush and you're drawing an O in front of you a big O staying grounded and breathing heel lifted as high as you can we'll be stretching the toes and the top of the foot you have two options here beginning and advanced make sure to meet yourself where you're at extending the leg pushing the hips forward tightening the glutes and dropping the head again straightening the leg pushing the hip forward tightening the glutes and dropping the head really feel that groin stretch last time straighten push tighten and drop nice and strong deep stretch now we're going to get ready to deepen into this we're going to be dropping down very slowly all the way down onto that heel meet yourself where you're at some of you will stay up you won't go all the way down others will use the chair and others will find themselves somewhere in between take your time now stretching the top of the foot getting comfortable rocking side to side breathing we're going to straighten that back leg push the hips forward tighten the glutes and drop the chin breathe we'll release that relax for a moment engage the glutes as we straighten the leg again push the hip forward tighten the glutes and drop the head hold on to a chair if you need to balance again release and then straighten push tighten and drop and instead of moving all the way to the ground we'll move on to the tennis ball rolling on the ball is very healthy for the body for the joints of the feet we want to extend and expand through the toes as we press the ball in pressing our body weight onto the ball we can roll on the ball making sure to get the ball of the foot the heel of the foot 
the inner arch of the foot and the toes. One of the really important parts of using the tennis ball on the feet is to keep the toes active. So we will be gripping the tennis ball with the toes, but just keep finding those tender areas, those tight areas on the feet and rolling the ball on there. Make sure to utilize your body weight as you press into the ball. Stretch through the toes, keep the toes nice and wide and open. Maximize all of the opportunities to open each of the joints. Hold on to a chair if you need to balance yourself. As we finish up on the tennis ball, we'll be switching sides to do a single leg hip joint opener. We'll be repeating the same pattern that we did on the other side. So we're rotating that hip in a circle, staying engaged in the three lock mountain. We'll switch directions, circling that hip, opening the joint. Good. And now we'll go ahead and open up that knee, circling in one direction, maximizing that joint opener as we extend through the toes. And we'll go ahead and change directions, breathing, staying engaged, and relaxed. And we'll move to the ankles. Big circle, painting an O. And breathing, you should go in the other direction. Moving to the foot, stretching those toes as we're rocking forward and back. Breathing, straightening the leg, pushing the hip forward, tightening the glutes, tucking in the chin, holding onto a chair if you need to stabilize yourself, and release. Maintain your three lock mountain. And we're going to straighten that back leg, push the hip forward, tighten the glute, and drop the chin. And breathe. We'll release that. Balancing. And straighten that back leg. Tighten. Push. Drop and breathe. We're gonna get ready to come all the way down. So stay nice and strong, coming down, and then shifting your body weight back onto your heel. Nice, deep stretch, rocking forward and back. And engage those abdominals as we start to shift forward and up, shifting to the top of the foot, nice and easy, rocking side to side, breathing, and we're going to straighten that back leg, push the hips forward, tighten the glutes, and drop the chin, balancing, And release. Deep breaths. Straighten, tighten, push, and drop. Breathing, 
release and again push tighten and drop now let's get ready to get on that tennis ball We're finishing up here. You guys have done a great job. We're going to roll out the foot, applying our body weight, rolling on the ball, making sure to get in the arch, the ball of the foot, the heel, the toes, all the different areas of the foot. You've opened up all the joints. It's a beautiful day out. Make sure to keep the toes nice and open. Breathing, maintaining your three lock mountain. And getting yourself ready for either a workout or for your day if you're starting your day off. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure that you do this each day or at least a couple times a week. I wanna encourage you guys to do this every single day. Do it every day. Open up your joints at least a couple times a week. Try and do it before your workout. For those of you who have pain issues, make sure that you're working on your three lock mountain and if you want to check out other videos, I will have the ones that I think will be useful for you guys in the drop box down below. So make sure to check that out. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, I'm at The Posture Specialist. So jet over there and check out what I am putting up on my Instagram account, okay? Because I do that more regularly than I am doing my YouTube videos. I'm trying to be a little bit more focused and specific when I do my YouTube videos and I just have a little bit more freedom and time space when I'm doing my Instagram, okay? Thank you so much for watching and for following. I hope this has been beneficial for you. Okay, you guys, until next time, happy posturing.